Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this episode today, we're gonna do a stretch type animation. And this kind of animation is quite popular lately, like I've been seeing it around Vimeo and on Pinterest, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So if you've watched my previous tutorial, it was about animating the thickness of your font. And basically the first step of this tutorial is gonna be the same like that, basically creating a shape outline from your text layer. Here I already have my text layer and a background. Now just right click on your text layer and then create and then create shapes from text. And that just automatically create a shape outline from your text layer. We don't need the text layer anymore so I'm just going to delete that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is actually create guides. So in order to do guides you have to activate your ruler which is this one by hitting Control R and then just click on the ruler and just drag your guide to wherever you want it to be. In this case, I'm dragging it onto the first bit of the word and the end bit of the word. I'll show you in a minute what I mean by using this guide so that the word doesn't go out of these guides. So if we click on the stretch outlines and then type in path, so it'll just show all of the paths of the font. So all of them. Now, since my background has that blue kind of color, now the mask doesn't really show. In, so I'm going to change this layer color to something else. So just click on that blue square. Maybe I'll change it to red actually. All right. I'm just going to create path for all of these letters and then go to one second. And I'm just going to stretch um, e first just because it all has like straight lines and lots of like horizontal lines so it'll look good when you stretch it out so basically using your pen tool or hit on g on your keyboard hold on to alt and then i'm gonna select these points right here so we can actually stretch the e out to the right and also like moving the rest of the letters that's on the right side of e that's stretched out all right but now like the word goes out of the guide so this is what i mean by using the guide for this so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna shrink some of this lettuce so i'm gonna shrink the first t so using g again and hold on to alt i'm gonna select that bit and then drag it to the left and then select that again so basically just selecting the right side of T and then just drag it to the left again and maybe I can do the second T now some of these letters obviously they don't work well when you stretch it out like for example like the C if you stretch it out if you shrink it it doesn't look good so letters like c or even like letters like s that has lots of curve it won't work well so the ones that work well is actually like e t h even the r this r would work a little bit so if i select all of the points there and then move it there it's still kind of work but you can't really change much now it's really close now we just have to get that h inside this guide so I'm just going to select the right part of the H and then do that. Before we preview it, I'm just going to select all of these keyframes and hit F9 to make it easy ease because it's my favorite thing to do. All right, let's preview it real quick. Yeah, so it's basically just stretching like that. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go to second two. Oh, okay. Actually, what I'm going to do if we go back here, I, I just realized that I don't have a keyframe for S. So I'm just going to create a keyframe. So just make sure everything has keyframe on each second for this tutorial. I'm actually going to copy this path from the first frame. Copy and paste it so that it goes back to normal again. And then this time I am going to stretch out the first T. Instead of just like choosing the two points at the top, I'm going to choose the points for the stalk as well. So now I'm gonna just string some of this letters like I did before. All right, let's preview it again. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's move on to 
second three and I'm gonna do the same thing so copy all of the keyframes of the part from the very first frame and paste it there and then this time let's do H now move on to second four do that all over again copy the first frame paste it and let's do two things this time maybe let's do R and the second T And for the very last frame, I'm just going to copy the first frame again, but we're not going to change it this time because I want this to be a loop animation. So let's preview this. There you go, you've got your stretchy type already. Now I'm just going to play around a little bit with the graph editor of these keyframes. So I'm just going to select everything. Go to graph editor, make sure you're under edit speed graph what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select the first one and make it fast like that so drag it to the left second one drag it to the left as well so it kind of like slows down so i think i'm gonna do that for all of them all right there you go you have your stretchy type now thanks so much guys for watching i hope you enjoy this i just want to say thank you so much for everyone who's been watching my tutorials i didn't expect there's lots of responses for my tutorials and I hope these tutorials been helping you guys a lot and feel free to leave it in a comment if you have any suggestion on what tutorials I should do next and yeah I'll see you next time